Golden Darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. Today I am reviewing The Shining Man by Kevin Scott. This is a Doctor Who new series adventure novel that has the 12th Doctor and Bill as played by Peter Capaldi and Pearl Mackey in the show. So this book plays with urban legends and kind of monster hunting and also fae and fairy tales, like the darker, creepier uh, British fairy tales, um, and mixing all that mythology in. And it's all set around Halloween. This is definitely like a creepier Doctor Who book, but also it's not that dark because like the Doctor is going to save the day. Come on. This happens in the middle of his season. Neither he or Bill are going to die. And I picked this book because I was looking at uh, books with black queer main characters and was like, oh yeah, I own those Doctor Who books with Bill. So let's, uh, now's the time to read them. Although to be fair, I had just bought them in like January or February before the pandemic started. So this is actually really fast for me to read a book that I bought that was Doctor Who too. Okay, getting into the story, which is what you really care about. So this one takes place in a, I think it's an English village, definitely a small town. Um, it's a contemporary story. It takes place in 2017. There are these creatures called the Shining Man showing up that are like these black silhouetted characters with like laser light eyes. Um, and so there's a question about whether or not this is an actual monster that's attacking people or people dressing up like monsters for the sake of scaring others. It's around Halloween. Um, so could just be people having a laugh. In the story, there is kind of a mix of that. There are a few people who are copycatting, um, and there is a reference to like the clowns that were attacking people in real life before this book happened, and I think like 2016. So that gets referenced in here, and that's kind of what it feels like. But also, it's about urban legends and um, monster hunting too. And they definitely feel like boogeymen, like these oddly not quite fully formed things that are just scaring people that we don't really know what they are, but they're scary. So in this book, we have a few main side characters, main characters that Bill and the Doctor meet. Um, the first are these two kids, Maisie and Noah. Maisie's, I think, like a young teen and Noah's like definitely a middle schooler. Um, and they were first introduced it because Noah is coming home from school and he got in trouble because he and his friends went to go see one of the Shining Men that they heard about. Like somebody, one of the kids in the class is like, we saw a Shining Man around the block. So Noah and his friends skip school to go find the Shining Man. And so that's our introduction to who these are. All through the eyes of a child who is very easily um, and very much wanting to be scared a little bit. He's at that age where like he wants to be adventurous and wants to grow up and wants to prove that he's like not scared of things. Um, and Maisie at first is like, oh brother, you gotta be kidding me. You believe in these? Um, but Noah tells his mom about this and then his mom thinks she sees one on the street. And so she goes out there to like confront him. Like, what are you doing walking around scaring children? Um, and actually the mother gets taken and abducted. And so Maisie and Noah start trying to find their mom. They do have like a grandmother who comes and takes care of them, but like they're still running around behind the grandmother's back. The next major character we have is Charlotte, who is this online blogger. She has a YouTube channel called Crypto Gal UK, and she investigates um, cryptological creatures like the Loch Ness Monster and stuff. And so she hears about these sightings of the Slender Man, and so she comes to this town to investigate it and film a YouTube video. So she gets caught up in all of this and the doctor and Bill. And then we also have PC Schofield. So we have a police officer who is investigating um, these people who are dressing up as the Shining Man and also some other weird things that start happening to people in town. And at first she and the doctor are butting heads. The doctor's, you know, uh, messing with her investigations. He's always there. He's always interfering. He's crossing over police lines. Um, but as the book goes on, they start working together and like have a grudging respect for each other. This book almost feels like it's two different stories that are connected. Like it's one story, but like there's two different plots, kind of. There's like the first half of the book where we think the shiny men are boogeymen. Um, it's more urban legends, more cryptological um, hunting 
like looking for book Bigfoot type of thing going on here. And then the second half of the book, um, the doctor and Belle really start investigating what's happening with the Shining Men and finding out that they're actually more like fae, more like fairies, more like actual boogeymen as in like these really old um, creatures that are coming to take children um, and a much more sinister. Um, these are not light fairy tales. These are not like the fairy godmothers in, in uh, Sleeping Beauty. These are like Maleficent, <laughs> like coming after you evil fairies, um, the kind that trick people um, and lure them into fairyland where they will like live out the rest of their days. Um, that kind of very dark fairy stories. Um, so actually kind of feel it. Like, yeah, yeah, the book got actually darker when the fairies it became obvious these were fairies. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy the fact that this book really played with mythology. Both are current urban legends, but also the much darker, much older um, mythology around the Fae and playing with both of them and exploring how there might be truths to both of these, especially within the world of Doctor Who. And also it kind of plays with who the Doctor is as well. As well. Um, the Doctor shows up and he's trying to explain himself to Showfield and he's like, yeah, I work with UNIT. Um, and so even UNIT has its own mythology and Torchwood and what other government agencies think about these that they seem not real. Um, other things within this book. Um, so Charlotte is queer. She, she totally gets a crush on Bill when she sees her. Um, and it's so cute. And Bill's like, I'm flattered, but there's somebody else. So thank you. Um, so we have a little bit of queer representation happening in here, but not enough to overpower the story. Um, which I, I enjoyed. I think this one happens pretty early on and Bill and the doctor traveling together. She, Bill, <sighs> Has had a few adventures. Definitely there's a few in here that she mentions that I don't remember from the show. And it might just be because I watched it so long ago. But I feel like she and the Doctor have definitely been off exploring more. So she's starting to gain confidence. She's starting to get the hang of how the Doctor does things. At one point the two of them get separated and investigate separately. And Bill's like, okay, what would the Doctor do? Um, and she's definitely got a firmer grasp on who the Doctor is. But also like she's still new at it. And she's still not quite sure. Um, they do reference Nardal in here in her time at school. So I actually really enjoyed this, although I am partial to monster stories and Halloween in general. Um, it definitely has a spooky vibe to it. Um, so definitely recommend for a Halloween read, but also I read this in July and it was also just fun to read something a little bit creepy now too. There's my review for The Shining Man by Kevin Scott. Um, I do own the other two books that Bill is a companion for. I will probably read Diamond Dogs next. Although I'm not sure about reading a book called Plague City in the middle of a pandemic. Might not tackle that one. My next Doctor Who review will probably be the Missy uh, Big Finished audio plays though because I'm listening to those right now. Um, so it might be a while before I get Diamond Dogs up. So yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you've read The Shining Man by Kevin Scott. If you've read any of the other new series adventure books. Which other ones do you recommend? I will post links to other reviews for Doctor Who down in the description below. Um, I know Forever Autumn, which is one of the books with Martha in it, is also set around Halloween. And it's also like got a good spooky feel to it if you're looking for like those. Um, and I'll try to remember which other ones are. Sorry, I'm looking at the Doctor Who books. Trying to remember which other ones are like really creepy, but I'll post I'll post those down in the description below. It'll be a later thing. So yeah go read it guys. Um, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely one of the better uh, new series adventure books. It definitely feels like these characters. Um, it's solid. So peace out. I love you all and keep reading. Bye.